So I'm Nick Hardwick and I'm the Chair of NACRO's uh, Trustees, which is a fantastic uh, honour and a privilege to do really. After I left university, my very first job back in 1980 was working for NACRO with young people leaving Borstals. And originally it was just supposed to be a summer job, but I stayed for six years. And I would say working for NACRO then had a profound effect on what I did subsequently. So uh, I, met, I met my wife at NACRO, and then after leaving NACRO, I went on and I ran uh, Centrepoint and then the Refugee Council, and then had various jobs at more senior level in the criminal justice system. So I was chair of the Independent Police and Police Commission, Chief Inspector of Prisons, and chair of the Parole Board. But I've always, in that time, continued to be involved in the kind of voluntary sector organisations, working in the fields I care about. So when the NACRO uh, opportunity came along, I really wanted to. What drew me is, I think, particularly now that NACRO has a wider concept of social justice, when I'm you know, more interested in being involved in an organisation that's actually doing something about that on our ground, the work that our staff do every day, and the experiences that people who use our services are having every day, and how we can help them make that better. Well, well the, the trustees have overall legal responsibility for NACRO's, well, everything from you know, the finances, obviously, and the budget to the quality of the services we're providing, about the safety and about the employment of our staff and volunteers. Campbell and the senior management team now accountable to us for, for how they deliver their strategy. You know, as chair, my role is to lead the trustees in that role. And I try and work in a collegiate way that draws out the skills that all the trustees are talented to group. And also make sure that we're getting out, meeting staff and service users and listening to what they have to say. The commitment and skills and hard work of staff were striking everywhere I visited. And frankly, felt very familiar from when I first worked in that crowd. On the other hand, the needs of our service users are more complex. Navigating the processes they need to go through are more difficult. And of course now the way that the cost of living increase is hitting both uh, your service users and staff too. That came home very powerfully to me in my visits to our projects. And I think it's going to be a really big priority for the work of me and the trustees over the coming months and years.